What's going on guys? Welcome to the Hustle or Stay Basic channel, the Invest or Stay Basic segment. I'm your host KG at KG the Hustler on Instagram. And it's been a while. I think it's been a couple weeks since I've put out a video and I apologize for that. Thanks for staying patient with me. Uh, I'll be putting out two to three videos a week going forward. Today, as you can tell by the title, we're gonna take a look at a company that is viewer requested, actually viewer requested quite a bit by Matt. Uh, Matt, thanks for being patient. You know, if you subscribe to the channel and you drop a comment on a company you'd like me to take a look at, I'll definitely make a video on it. Uh, and hopefully you don't have to wait three months like Matt. So without further ado, let's take a look at the company that was requested. So today we are talking about Topicus.com, ticker symbol T-O-I. It's got a little chameleon looking logo here. Uh, it's trading for $78 per share and has a market cap of $3 billion. Uh, so this is all Canadian dollars that you'll see here as depicted over here. So a couple things that you need to know about Topicus is that its parent company is Constellation Software. Uh, I'm sure you've heard of Constellation Software, uh, one of the biggest software companies here in Canada. If you've invested in them over the last five years, you did really well because they're you know up over 200% and basically they're letting their little European country fly on its own wings and uh, go IPO, which is Topicus. And in fact, it IPO'd in February, 2021. It's up 23% since it IPO'd. And like I mentioned, it is a European based company, uh, mainly from the Netherlands. Okay, so we know it's Constellation's baby, uh, based out of the Netherlands and it just IPO'd. So what does it do? So Topicus provides vertical market software and vertical market platforms in Europe. The company acquires, builds, and manages various vertical market software businesses. Uh, and they're in a bunch of industries like accountancy, agriculture, automotive, central government, education, etc., etc. So basically it looks like their main consumers are based in Europe and uh, it's across several industries. Um, and if you're not super tech savvy like myself, you might be like, what the heck is a vertical market software? So let's get into that. So vertical market software is application software for specific industries. For example, uh, you know, patient scheduling software for the healthcare industry. And I got restaurant management software as another example for, you know, the restaurant industry. Whereas horizontal market softwares are applications that are suitable for many industries, you know, payroll, inventory, billing, every industry you know requires that or most at least and uh, another example i'd like to think of is like you know spreadsheet software i mean lots of industries will use spreadsheets um, it's not specifically created for that niche or industry uh, whereas vertical market software is okay cool you got it you understand vertical market software Cool. I mean, uh, they got they got on their website all the different solutions they have. So mortgages, pensions and assets, primary education. Um, but let's go quickly take a look at their sales and earnings. So what I like about this company is although it just recently IPO'd, uh, we still have some past history earnings and sales. So we're not starting with a clean slate and kind of speculating too much. Um, this is all in US dollars. So you can see they had about $408 million of sales in 2018 and 650 million in 2020. And the sales growth has been 17% annually, really good numbers. Earnings have been growing as well, but I also wanna put a note of caution out there that previous quarters earnings have been, were really bad. And I'm gonna explain why later in this video. Okay, we got sales and earnings out of the way. Let's go take a look at revenue streams. I mean, how do they make money? How does a vertical market software company make money? So a majority of the revenue is comprised of professional services and maintenance and other recurring revenue. I got this blurb from uh, the MDNA, uh, which basically says that maintenance is fees that they charge for post delivery customer support and or other subscription and hosting services. So basically when they dis, uh, deliver on a product, um, they charge the client for support and uh, subscription fee based on whatever the product is. Whereas professional service fees is for creating a solution and implementing that solution uh, for the customer and then uh, providing some training and consulting as well. So as they continue to grow their software suite, of course, sales and revenue will grow. Uh, but I want to talk about that earnings blurb I was talking about earlier in the video where I was like, hey, they had some really negative earnings um, and why that is. Okay, so I have this chart here that shows the quarterly results for Topicus over the last couple of years. 
and you'll see that you know earnings or net income has been decent and then just a huge slap in the face of about 2.43 billion uh, euros um, and you can see the earnings per share you know 22 cents per share to minus 52 dollars per share so what is that and why is it so high so that's a great question what you need to know is there's constellation software ticker symbol csu that we all know and one of their babies was called constellation netherlands holdings and they spun that off into topicus and as part of going public the majority uh, majority owners of constellation netherland holdings which is constellation software csu uh, got preferred shares and also the minority holders got some preferred shares so these preferred shares are redeemable at 19 euros per share and when the quarter ended in march 31st uh, the share price of topicus was actually 55 euros per share um, and basically what they said is hey if if we redeem these shares 55 euros per share times the 65 million preferred shares there's uh, 2.4 billion euros in liabilities right there. So that's basically the big reason for the huge negative earnings. It's not that the company is spending more. It's basically a reward to those preferred shareholders. Um, you know, the people who started Topicus or funded Topicus at the very beginning. And uh, they're going to get their 2.4 billion euros worth of common stock uh, redeemable and I think I read in 2022 so there will be some significant dilution in 2022 um, but don't worry Topicus is still doing decent they're not really you know burning 2.4 billion dollars uh, while only making 180 million dollars okay cool I just want to clear that out of the way because I don't want you guys to take a look at the company and be like wow really negative earnings like what are they doing there it's just more so rewarding the founders of Topicus uh, which is Constellation uh, software and some minority owners okay now to my final thoughts so my final thoughts is three billion dollar market cap 650 million dollars of sales growing 70 percent annually I mean that sounds awesome but there's three things that are kind of turning me off on the company Number one, it's a Europe-based company based out of the Netherlands. And if I want to find out what projects they're working on I, and I'm not using Google Translate, I mean, this is the stuff I see on their website. <laughs> Honestly, to me, it looks like gibberish. Uh, so it's a little, little hard to follow. Number two, circle of competence. I mean, you saw me talk about vertical market software. It's not something I'm very familiar with. I understand the demand for it, but it's not something I would invest in. Uh, I just choose to invest in my certain competence. That's just how I roll. Third thing, interest rates. I mean, interest rates are super low right now and it's really fueling a lot of these tech stocks. And uh, it's also fueling these high valuations. And there's like a 100% guarantee that over the next couple of years, interest rates are gonna be hiked. It might be as soon as this year. And when that happens, these tech stock valuations are gonna get hit bad, especially speculation stocks. Now I'm not saying Topicus is a speculation stock because it's actually probably a five to 10 year decent play if Constellation is able to use what helped them grow and apply that to Europe. So yeah, those are my thoughts on Topicus. I mean, I'm, I'm not buying, but I can understand the appeal. Uh, thanks again, Matt, for uh, suggesting this company. I, th I think it was pretty cool to learn about. And if you enjoyed this video, got value out of it, like the video, subscribe to the channel, drop a comment if you want me to take a look at a comp another company that you're interested in, and let me know what your thoughts are on Topicus. Anyways, I'll see you guys later.